This is Dave McCain with the Right Tree Genealogy doing a multi-part video starting with a question that happened uh, multiple times in discussions with people. I have an exact match at Y37 or Y67 or above, but I'll start with Y37. Uh, and are they exactly in my same Habbo group? They should be, right? They're exact match to me. I want to show you a group of men in my project and how they fall into the big Y to each other. So I'm inside the project on a, the zoomed in so you don't see the names of our participants. I've had, I have the color turned on so that you can see that uh, if the YSTRs are different, you'll see that they are. This is a group of men right here that starts uh, with this one, the FT248571 and goes down to this one, BY27457. I want to look at this group of men right here, how the relationship, any relationship to them on the block tree. I'll tell you right now, this is lineage one, so yes, they're going to be related, but within how many years will they show up? Let's start looking at this on the block tree. I opened up one of the, the testers that are in that block of matches, okay? There is someone that has the BY91021, okay? There ha there's someone that has the BY27457. There's nobody that has these that are in that exact match at Y37. Okay, so someone here and someone here match. We have another situation here. I have FT268311. So someone matches right here. So when you go across this list, one of these guys here match on that. Now I know I want you to see if you're seeing a pattern here. Not every one of these that are under each one of these exact match at Y thirty-seven, and that's significant or sixty-seven. It means there is a randomness to it, but they are in the same block of the tree. Now let's go look at this. We have a A seventeen forty-one. Okay, we also have this group of men, uh, the a1732 has that block. What I want to point out here is we have a lot of testers in this area. A question that has been asked, and I pointed it out at the beginning of this part one of this video, I'm not sure how many parts there will be, but there's, this is part one to cover. I have an exact match at Y37, Y67. This shows right here that they are under the same hat on the block tree. Now let's just see where the fall together and then we're going to take a look and say how far back or what year do each one of these snips where they fall back to. So we're going to take a look at the highest level snip that's in this block of men that we just looked at. So every one of them that fall, here's the other one, FT248575, that fall into the category of exact matches do fall underneath the FT96311. We're going to look at the Discover tool and see how far back each one of these men go back in time and kind of get an idea of, in this case, the estimated time to most recent common ancestor per family tree DNA. Now, FT96311 is stated to have been formed in 1650 CE. So let's actually look at the scientific more of it, 1644 CE. It has a range here. As you can tell, that's, that's almost 400 years ago. It's not within 300 years, but almost 400 years ago on each one of those. Now, if you go and take a look at this, which I'm going to now for the benefit of this video, we know that this is the upstream. This right here are some of them. We're going to go into this one. This one was formed, scientific details. 1715. So that's 310 years ago as of the date of the recording of this video. Then we go back and back up to this. And then we go to the A1741, which we talked about there. When does it say the range is 1723? Again, about 300 years ago. What I want to point out is that's when each one of these were formed that fall underneath this. But going back to it, it was 1644 that the SNP that's common to these men was formed. So it's not within 300 years of when these men match. 
the key to this as well to understand is any of these YSDRs can change at any given time. What we have found, the more people we test that match uh, on the YSTRs, Y37, 67, 111, they do fall into, generally speaking, into an area. But as you can tell in this case, it was 400 years ago since the one that each one of these men fall under match exactly at the YSTRs. Also is, I want to go over and look at uh, that block tree or that table again and show you a couple more things. The group of men, I've got it highlighted in yellow. This is the same group of men here that we were looking at a few moments ago. They match at 37, 67, and not till you get into some of the YSTRs that are in the Y111 do they have some mismatches, but not many. They're within 400 years of each other based on what we looked at here. What is the significance there? You can see that an exact match at Y37 or Y67 is likely in your same area of the block tree, but not necessarily within 300 years. Or if you want to look at it in the perspective of generations, every generation for males roughly at the genetic genealogy's statement of 25 years, you would say there's 10 generations to 12 generations separating you, the one and another one. That's a lot of uh, paper trail uh, separation between them and a lot of work to get those tied together. So as you notice, some of the men were closer based on the haplo group that they received on the block tree, and some ones are a lot further apart. It just tells us this. When you match somebody Y37, Y67, and further you go, the better it is. The closer your numbers, uh, your YSTR match, the more likely you're in the same area and within the 300 years. Otherwise, you could be 300, 400, 500 years, or even more. Even if you match, especially like at Y37, you could still be, as we saw in this example of this first part, there's 380 years between the one person's YSTR where they match to the other person's most recent common ancestor to the Y DNA. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like to subscribe to the channel, uh, click here or watch some of this other content. Let's continue learning together.